apocalypse, Mr. Manheim. Who are you? Your new lord and master. You may call me Dark Side. Welcome to Dark Side's Couch. Get all nice and comfy, cozy, and romantic with us. I'm Shay. This is James. This is Mike. I, you know, I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm going to be hostile and indifferent. All right, well, uh, fuck you too. Yeah, I'm just going to be in me. the middle. I'm just going to let you guys kind of word out, and I'll be the lone survivor. Typical Mike, centrist you James. Mike, you could have been in the middle. Oh, man, you're right. I fucked that up. You yeah, did fuck that up. Now I'm going to have to beat off in the closet with my eyes looking through the slit. Oh, you want to be the... <laughs> I don't know if you want to be in the middle. It's the worst place to be in the human centipede. That's for sure. I'm well, not going to be in the middle. Well, yeah. Why? That'd be that'd be the most logical. <laughs> yeah, because it's because it's more funny if everyone argues. I mean, I don't know how big are you, James? Are you going to hurt my ass? <laughs> I mean, well, we we do a, a water displacement test, and we'll see. All right. Neil's oh my denied. god. Niels Bohr water displacement test. Oh god. Right. Uh I don't know, man. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Does yeah. this land directly on Valentine's Day? Yeah, this will be directly on Valentine's really? Day. Really? Man, yeah. sorry for anyone who's listening day of on Valentine's Day. Or, or, or thanks, COVID. Yeah. You listen to a, a comic book podcast on Valentine's Day that, that was just released that day. Come on, man. You ain't you ain't with nobody. I appreciate the dedication. Whenever we get uh, listeners to hit, hit me up and they'll, and they'll be like, I thought you said this was a comic book podcast. Yeah, yeah it is. It's about comic books I'm and, like, and uh, Ronald Reagan. Sort of. Ronald Reagan yeah. and socialism and doing curls. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we get around to talk about comic books. I'm just yeah. going to do, when I get out, when I get done recording it, so I'm going to do, do some curls. Yeah. Get ready for Valentine's Day. Yeah. So Shay, what the hell's going on here? I'm sorry. What the fuck is going on here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some background and stuff because I chose this comic. Uh huh. It's your fault. It is. It's all my fault. So today we are reading Secret Hearts number eighty three, which was published in November nineteen sixty two by DC Comics, and I specifically chose this uh, comic because uh, in Lichtenstein, Roy Lichtenstein got inspiration for two different of his paintings from it. Okay. I, before before recording, I had to ask James what the hell a Liechtenstein was. And I think you still don't know. <laughs> nope, still don't know. He was very famous for the art of where it's like a comic book panel with pointillism over it. Secret Hearts was a romance anthology that ran from 1949 to 1971 for a total of 133 issues. And this is what it's most known for, is the Liechtenstein thing. By most moan, I mean not a lot of people know it. And also, when I say uh, Lichtenstein got his inspiration, I mean it in the same way that uh, Vanilla Ice got his inspiration for Ice Ice Baby mm. from Under Pressure. There's that oh, little bitty ting. Just, just stole it. Yeah, no, exactly. There's a little bitty ting. There's a little bitty ting. Yeah, you can compare them and, and you can see, holy shit, the man just copied it. And this comic is approved by the Comics Code Authority, which means there's no money shots. No. Yeah, and they had to edit those out. Yeah, but he didn't, and, and he did this all the time. He did this to Kirby. He did this to a bunch of different artists. Didn't attribute them. They got no royalties from it. Nada. Yeah, kind of piece of shit. That's what I yeah. do with my NFTs. <laughs> I think you're still. You're still I ringing, don't even get that. Yeah, you're still <laughs> ringing the rag of NFTs, even though it's not making any sense anymore. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna NFT this this whole comic. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be like Liechtenstein, except it's up to, for the new generation. Yeah, as soon as you learn how to do that. Uh, what NFT is it, Open Sea? Is that what it's called? Where they, oh, they sell their NFTs? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I got this going. Don't worry. I'll hire a guy. <laughs> I got yeah, an NFT guy. Go. I got a blockchain guy. I'll just send him a bunch of JPEGs. I'm like, convert this to whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So, going into the comic book, and James is graciously going to guide through the comic book because yeah. I think I will just flame the fuck out well, in that. It's, it's, it's man's work. Oh, I want to punch you so hard right now. Why? Uh, You're trying to say there's no such thing as man's work? Are you being unrealistic? I'm saying guiding the comic isn't man's work. It's just mm-hmm, something mm-hmm. that I'm too anxious to do. Well, it's James's mm-hmm. job, pretty much. He's the showrunner. Yeah, no, J- James is like two-thirds of this podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I mean, you've been showrunning. I thought I was just stepping on everybody's toes and nobody's no, saying anything about it. No, I don't, 
don't want no, to. No, you're I you're showrunner, executive producer. Yeah, Ooh, like like Miller Boyette or whoever who who, who did the Full House stuff or Lichtenstein. Uh, at the end of Full House, there was a title card: Miller Boyette, Miller Boyer. I think those were the two guys that produced it. Like Chef no, Boyardee. Yeah, like Chef Boyardee. I'm the Chef Boyardee of this podcast. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee that's not Chef Boyardee. That's the other guy. No, that's a guarantee. But you can guarantee some Chef Boyardee. Yeah, I can guarantee a, a fantastic comic book. Yeah, right. The next point one. is, I'm gonna scroll this. I'm gonna scroll through this comic book for us. Right. Yeah, else we need and, to know and, going forward, and guy through. Well, uh, looking at this real fast, I want to mm. let you know off the top, I could not find any fucking writers for this comic book at mm. all. Maybe we'll mm. find at it in the credits. All I looked in the Unlikely. credits. I looked online. I hmm. could not find writers for this. Comic I mean, book. this this was before credits were commonly attributed, but usually you could still find it. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do some digging later. Well, here okay. on the cover, here on the cover, uh, a lady is wiping the money shot off her face while the guy who just yes. did it is already dancing with another girl. More oh. or less. So, but I did find the artist credits for these okay. guys. So it, I didn't come up empty. Okay. Is that just story by story? Well, uh, yes. So I know okay. who does the art story by story if we want to okay. break it up and I'll give you little facts sure. in between all of them. Sure. I'll also, okay. uh, yeah, I, I even, since it's Valentine's Day and, uh, and Shay's leading and everything, I even went ahead and updated the old soundboard drops to uh, reflect modern feminist bullet points. Like, Oh, thank right God. This. Yeah, here we go. I, I, really, I really need a lesson. Yeah, let's see what we got. We're living in a society where women are valued as equals. See? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> a very modern soundboard. Also on the cover, the guy who nut on the girl's face uh, is still flush from his orgasm. And <laughs> oh, the oh, God. And the, the T on his sweater stands for testosterone. Uh, <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, <laughs> hey, I love you too. Yeah, right. yeah, so uh, if it's I could Valentine's love, Day. It's Valentine's love, Day, love guys. You. She's only Aww. saying that because she wants to get back in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold. All right. <laughs> Uh, so All right. yeah, we can go ahead and start. Yeah, here let's with, start. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip oh, over no, the cover. Oh no, go back to that ad. Oh god, we got nope. an ad. <laughs> nope, no. Nope. Look at this. Hey, you go sell your your daughter's beauty. <laughs> More yeah. or less. Yeah. yeah. Also, this. Okay, so it's a 1962 beauty contest. This public comic was again published in November. So okay. I don't know how many like, applicants they expected at this point. Hmm. So. I don't know. Especially since no one bought this comic. It could have just been a money laundering scam. I mean, clearly people bought this comic. It ran for another nine years. Would you guys go to a beauty pageant for children? Because a teenager just means child. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a beauty pageant at an amusement park in New Jersey. <laughs> at the Palisades, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a little... Get your ass of... up there, sweet Wait, wait, wait. Cheeks. Is the name of the town Amusement Park, New Jersey? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, they just lived in the way it, music the park. way it's written it looks I like mean, it it looks like a city state I, i've been to the boardwalk I, I wouldn't be terribly surprised i mean if it's an abandoned music park that means the whole town is just a bunch of jokers please someone tell us i mean i i, I watched a, a guy uh with like a like a pedicab uh you know with a couple of people he was driving around pull up to a michael jackson impersonator to laugh at him and he wasn't he was like a like a 70 year old chubby white guy in a, in a michael jackson uh suit doing my jackson impression and he was just bringing people by to yell at him and heckle him <laughs> like that's what's going on in new jersey <laughs> maybe that was his ex-boyfriend yeah <laughs> they might be getting back together after this all right so uh yeah, yeah. that's it that's the latest scam that's going on okay that's new house look, look at the major prizes you can get this beauty pageant <laughs> it's uh uh, U.S. savings therapy? bonds. Yeah, yeah, savings therapy, bonds. Yeah. Well, you know, you're up there because your dad molested you. Yep. Appearance, appearance on, on TV. On the TV. Almost certainly local news. Yeah. Back then, all the dads did that. Appeared on local TV? <laughs> <laughs> Getting arrested? What? <laughs> no. I just move on from that horrible yeah. thing. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll figure that out so... in the edit. <laughs> so this book, this first story so we're is called Run go for ahead. Love. Yeah. Yes, so this first one is called Run for Love, and it the art is by a guy named Tony Abruzzo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Tony Abruzzo, uh, he actually, in this one comic, exp uh, inspired two different paintings. This scene that we're seeing right here inspired Drowning Girl. And then there's uh, one, there's a panel a little bit further that inspired the one called Hopeless. Both were painted in 1963. So you think mm -hmm. I could do that now? Just like take someone else's art 
and just change it a little bit and this portray it yeah. as my own and be a rich it, person yeah it's called twitter and and tumblr and uh twitch and basically the entire social media ecosystem i'm in one of those poor ass chicago neighborhoods where all the storefronts are empty so they all got uh, converted into like rich kid art gallery kind of things Ooh. and i'm just thinking like maybe i can just steal from some of the comics we do yeah and just make myself a nice, yeah. nice scarf and open up a, your own uh, art exhibit oh, absolutely and what, you, what you call it, that french hat what the fuck is that french hat beret called? yeah beret i'll wear a beret wow you you were struggling for beret you're fishing for beret yeah I don't, i'm not gonna remember any of that Shay, is that all we need to know? I'm too much no. of a Chad to know what a beret is. Okay, well, Mike keeps cutting off Shay so we can't get all the pertinent information out. I got Go too ahead, many jokes. Jay. Oh my God, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I wanted to say, so this comic in inspired, quote, 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 uh, two paintings. Uh, the artist, Tony Abruzzo, inspired, quote, 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 Lichtenstein, one, two, nine times. Nine oh, he, times he, he stole this man's art. Wow. So he plagiarized him nine times. Nine times. Oh, wow. Uh, whatever happened to Abruzio? Died didn't on a bench in, somewhere? Yeah. No, I didn't I didn't do we all. look up at how he died. We all will. All right. Let's look uh, up how he died. Oh, God. Tony Abruzio? How yeah. do you spell Abruzio? Tony Abruzzo. A-B-R-U-Z-Z-O. Tony Abruzzo. Abruzzo. Tony from the block. Uh, hey, open, up, open up a pizza restaurant. Key collector comics. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's probably much uh, information about him out there. I wonder if Italians are the people we're most racist against on this show. On this on this show? On our show, oh, yeah. I think it's one. I think it'd be gingers. I know oh, it's not yeah, a race, right. but yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, you guys hate All on right. gingers a lot. Well, they're scum. So let's get to the story. This is Run yes. for Love. And the, uh, uh, the, like the, the the general artwork to help you describe that helps to like kind of let you know what's what's coming. It, mm -hmm. Like uh, it looks like that the girl is drowning herself because the guy she likes is in love with like a, a whale. Yes, yes, <laughs> his overturned ship looks like a whale, but we'll find it out does. what that's about because it opens in media res. So we have to catch up to that point in the story. Yeah, and women, so brace yourself because this comic ends real shitty. Yeah. So uh, in this story, there's this woman and she's got four sisters and all the sisters are seen as as beauties, uh, even though they kind of look like hags. Yeah. yeah, the 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 fugly sister is like the hottest girl by a wide margin. So, yeah, yeah. I'm real surprised that they didn't just put glasses in and give her a ponytail. Well, that's that's hot, too. Well, so, uh, so yeah, we've got these four sisters and there's old women looking at them. And one of them says, ah, pleasure just to look at them. Right. They're weird. Except about her. <laughs> super, They'll super be a good commodity creepy. to give to men. And then, and then, uh, yeah, they've got a fifth sister, uh, and she's gorgeous. She's got like the cat eyes and everything, great hair and everything. She's fantastic. She's like Anne Hathaway. Yeah. But she's the ugly duckling. But she's the ugly duckling and no man wants her in 1962. Like she's pretty and cute. And then you, you're not, not necessarily both those things. You're getting the whole package. Not only is she pretty and cute, she also knows uh, she has automotive skills. She spends right. her spare time working on cars. Right. She's, yeah. a, she's a full package. Right. So give up. me a full package. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I should have uh, left at that. Too late now. Why? Why? It was hysterical. <laughs> yep. It was the funniest joke I've ever heard. Uh, so, yeah, she uh, one day. Uh, meets this dude by the side of the road who's stalled out because he doesn't know shit about cars, right? Nice and uh, bitch. he rather she tries to help. He's him a and, little uh, bitch. Yeah, he he is. is a bitch, and he'd rather just be stranded by the side of the road than accept help from a woman. Yeah, so he is for hours. Yeah, yeah. If if I was stranded on the side of the road and a woman, a beautiful woman, pulls over to help me, I'm just going to assume that she likes me. Yeah, yeah, that's a safe assumption. Like already, but, like you're already help? in. Isn't this how Transformers started? Yeah. The Michael Bay Transformers? I don't know. I, walk, I, don't I walked know. out I'm, on it. I am not a child. I did not see the Transformers movies. I'm in one of those movies as an extra. Mm -hmm. Are you the reason it sucks so bad? No. No. Did you, did you drag it down? <laughs> I'm the reason why everyone got hard in the theater. Got in Michael Bay's, <laughs> got in Michael Bay's ear, gave him some suggestions. It didn't quite work out too well. 
right. yeah, I guess. Uh, so it starts to rain and everything. And so she decides to go back to check on this guy and see that uh, he's still all fucked up. He's not, he's not having any progress. And so uh, she, he eventually decides to just uh, let her have a crack at this just for funsies. Let her see what she can do. Okay. And she uh, fixes it and she looks even hotter, wet. Yeah, she looks like progressive flow in her younger days. Oh, hey, uh, I disagree. I said hot. Progressive yeah. flow was cute. She was cute when she was young. All right. Not I haven't like seen this. her young. Not like this chick. Yeah, this is a gorgeous. Well, she's also fic. This is a fictional uh, this woman. This girl so. looks like um, uh, Angelina Jolie from Hackers. She has a little bit of that. Yeah, she's she's beautiful. Full lips, great hair, uh, lithe body. She's fantastic. Absolute y'all, winner. Y'all ever see that? Y'all ever see Hackers? No, no, I didn't see Hackers. God, you guys never seen any of the good movies. You never seen Heather's? You never seen Hackers? All the, oh, yeah. all the good H movies. I was about I got, to I got, say, got... Mike, do you only watch H movies? Yeah, we haven't alphabet. seen Hereditary either. Yeah, I have. <laughs> that movie's great. Uh, so the car works, and uh, rather than thank her, he just says, I was probably ready to start anyway. Not how cars work, by the way. They don't eventually just come back around. He's like, thanks for nothing, bitch, <laughs> and drives off. She's like, I fucking love that dude. And she, he wheels off, uh, you know, just uh, uh, spits some mud in her face as he's he's getting out of there. And she and, massages uh, that mud into her breasts. Loves it, loves it. And then just a couple of minutes later down the road, uh, it's happened again. And uh, he, he breaks down and she's like, this little fucking bitch. And then she goes, she does that, that thing where you stop and you realize that they're doing something really stupid. And yeah. you're like, no. Yeah. So well, this time, bitch this, is out of gas. Yeah, he's just out of gas. Yeah. And, uh, she she lets him know that because he can't read a gas meter because he's weak. And what? She's still, she's still, but she's like, I, since I'm not as good as my sisters, I'm going to lower myself to uh, be attracted to this dumpy fuck. Yeah. And she yeah. does. So she, she goes home and she's fallen in love with him. Yeah. And notice that he's a ginger. So it's like, she's like, that that way, no, the I, best I, I can get. Guaranteed. He's no, blonde. Guaranteed no one will try to steal him from me. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to you don't want to be worried about that all the rest of your life. If you want to no. be happy for the rest of your life. Uh and so then uh the next day, uh she's at the beach wearing her uh one-piece bathing suit that's covering entirely too much. Come on now. Yes. And, oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh we scrolled right by the second panel that oh, was used in the look into shy. That one right there that you're lying down crying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, having a good cry. I I relate. Uh, I get that. I've been there. Yes. Uh, so yeah, she's in her one piece, piece bathing suit and she sees that, uh, what's his name is capsized on his boat and got his dumb ass caught in the ropes underwater. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he looks yeah. like Aquaman. Yeah. I, I think I was wrong. There is a superhero in this book. His name's Captain Gaslight. Yeah. <laughs> the most unrealistic thing about this book is that this guy would be mean to this super hot girl. Yep. Yep. But all, but you know, it's probably a strategy though. Cause she likes him even more than meaner he is like in real life. He's it's really negging working. her. And it's working. It does work. It yeah, fucking yeah. does. It's terrible. It it's does. Very it it's is just, terrible. It's just very every time I like a girl and I try to be nice to her, she doesn't like me back. But when there's a uh, a girl I don't care about and I kind of am indifferent, they like me. And I'm like, well, that's a stereotype that you're pushing forward. This guy's got uh, an interesting physique because he's got side definition, but no abs to speak of. So it was back then. It's a they weird look. Abs. They didn't have abs back then. Yeah, they abs hadn't figured were too out, sexy. Yeah, hadn't figured out uh, six packs yet. Yeah. Nope. They cer certainly ready, weren't ready for those 10 pack ricochet abs. Nope. Nope. Ricochet, ricochet is the new evolution of humans. <laughs> yes, he's the next level. No one uh, knows what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, I don't care. I don't no care. It's, about, it's no my Valentine's about... Day. I'm living oh, my fantasize, truth. Fantasize about Ricochet's abs. This is Valentine's Day. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, yeah. So she rescues him, but he doesn't want any part of this shit. She tells her, He tells her to just get out of here, go away. Yeah. So, he essentially does the whole, like, I was almost there Yeah. Right. kind of thing. It was. Uh, I'd be almost there with her. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you would have came so if you didn't talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> so she... Uh, she starts swimming away and she gets a cramp and she's going to die and he comes to her rescue and then completely admonishes her for being unwilling to ask for help. Yeah, he, yes. though, you know what he says is like, you see what happens? You see how it's supposed to be? A guy is supposed to do all the, the helping and you're supposed to be helpless. She goes, yep, I totally get that now. That's yes, she literally says ends. that. Yep. This yeah. taming of the shrew kind of shit. He says helping a woman is a man's job. You see that now, don't you? And she agrees. She says, yes, I see that now. Maybe Ugh. the artist deserved to have all his shit stolen. Yeah. Well, it's not his fault. He's just trying to make a message. paycheck. 
Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's... Does this story seem to normalize regressive gender roles? Oh, that's yeah, <laughs> woke Jonathan Frakes. That's very insightful. It does. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Frakes is not the best guy. Well, no. I mean, he was <laughs> probably a nice guy. I Riker mean, was the one dog. episode that I sat through of Star Trek that we were watching, I still don't know if he raped somebody. He almost threw his career away because he wanted to fuck a genderless alien and, like, ruined her life. And he's never admonished by Picard. Picard no. just lets us all slide. Well, Picard did some stuff himself. Yeah, who, who am I to judge? Like, everyone thinks that, like, Kirk was, like, the sex maniac. I, uh, you should go check out what Picard was up to in the next generation. Yeah. He, yeah. he definitely was down he was for up some to stuff. shitty paintings. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it says uh, they lived happily ever after for about two more months, probably, before this became yeah. a problem. Well, you didn't hit her. Back then, mm -hmm. if you didn't hit them, they didn't think they loved you. Yeah, they didn't stay in line. All right. Uh, that's it for the first story. Then we're on to another story called Angry Heart. Do we have any yes. credit for that? Yes. So, okay. Angry Heart. We have Pencils by Mike Sikowski who uh, was Ooh. a penciler for Justice League for most yeah. of the 60s, and then a writer-artist on Wonder Woman for, like, 60s, 70s. Yeah. And uh, inks by Bernard Sachs, who was regularly his inker. Ooh. Great, great symbiotic relationship. Yes. Much and like all no the relationships Lichten in this book. Yeah. And there are no Lichtenstein paintings in this comic. Okay. Uh, so this story uh, has this woman... Uh, who is being uh, jilted by a guy who says he just, he's got to get away from town. He's got to get away from everything. And I, I've been there. I definitely left town before. So I got no, I got no issue thus far. I've yeah. had to leave town a few times. Yeah. Yeah. You got, got to get out really? quick in the middle of the night. I've had to get the hell out before some shit happened. That's for really? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Shay, like has, James caught me in the tail end of my wild years. Like Shay mm -hmm. has no idea what I used to get up to. No, <laughs> I don't. It's had a, a great impact in your life, reverberated through the entire rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. uh, so th we'll, we'll get into that another day. We'll do that on Mike's birthday. We should, yeah, we got to pick out a comic for Mike's birthday. I'm we sure it's shit not going to incriminate myself on my birthday. <laughs> That's a yeah. terrible present to myself. When, when is your birthday? June 22nd. Yeah. Okay. So don't worry. Uh, I mentioned that because my birthday is coming up, but we'll talk about that later. Mm. Yes, we uh, will. So anyway, uh, yeah, so this dude has to leave. Uh, he leaves his woman, and then he uh, decides Wait, no, no. he needs to come back. He doesn't have to leave. He pulls the whole, like, no, he says, I just want to go out and, like, oh, experience so things. But, he you know, has to! Like, I don't yeah. think I really can handle a relationship right now. It's called Rumspringa. Even the Amish do it. You know what's funny? Like, in modern times, it's usually the girl who has these inklings to, like, sow her wild oats, and it's the guy who wants to, like, keep her around. Mm. Well, I mean, most guys, I, I really think that uh, the quality of men has really dropped precipitously. And I, I think because we, we've assumed that we can always get uh, a woman because we had all the earning power. But now that that's not true anymore, uh, we've had to step up our game to actually be desirable. Right. Yeah. Now it's all Tinder. So it's like if you're not Tinder good, you yeah. ain't good. It's the only the only way you need to be good is Tinder good. Sorry, you soy boy beta cucks. Yeah. I mean, it's like how it is. Like, uh, it, yeah, we're going back to like, because like all the other mammals, that's how it is. Like only yeah. like the alpha males get to breed and the other the other ones don't do shit. Like, but then we, because of economics and weird gender role rules, like women had to marry a guy yeah. in order to like survive in the world. But now they don't have to. So we're, we're back to alphas and betas yeah. again. I just got to impress yeah. those bots and the thirst traps. Well, there's, you know, just, also the fine. fact that women can decide not to have children. Uh, I don't, I don't know if that's, well, let's see. You will die without getting married, which is a perfectly fine choice and should never have been used to shame women in the first place. Oh, good job, Worf. <laughs> I didn't expect something like that from him. You should just keep all these for future episodes. I love this. <laughs> I love <laughs> this so much. I mean, we're not, we're not going to be progressive year round. Let's be like, realistic. The, the, they're so progressive. I actually hate them. Can you yes. play another? Or I'm just like, what a well, weak bitch that voiceover guy we've is. Got a, we've got a lot. We've got a lot of comic to get through. Okay, I want to make sure I hear them all. Yeah, we'll, we'll get through. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, he's uh, he's left her to go sow his wild oats. He went to uh, he's betting women in Paris and the, the Thai lady boys really stretching yeah. his wings. Oh exploring. no, his life well, first, is so bad. Well, first, <laughs> okay, he after he leaves for three months, 
he's like, oh, fuck, I, I fucked up. Like, they always do, yep, ladies, 100%. am I right? I've done that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then they, and so he wrote to her, and she did not write back. So he's like, well, I guess I got to forget her. Yep. And the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody's. Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think there's ever been a time where I broke up with somebody to, to, and then uh, not try to get back with them, like, later on. I think I've mm -hmm. tried every single time. Wow, that's sad. I'm pretty sure. Well, I was horny. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Did you try to get back together with them, or did you just try to bang them again? So that's all I wanted. But like, you know how like it tr your brain tricks you, like it, like it makes you think that's no. what you want. Like we were like, man, I really want to go on this date with this girl, but then you masturbate beforehand. You're like, oh, I don't want to go see this person at all. Like mm -hmm. that, you just need to get it out of your system, and then you realize like I made a big mistake. You need to control the narrative. You're you're letting your dick have the narrative. Yeah, every time. Yeah, it sounds like before you ever contact any women you like, Mike, you need to rub one out. I yeah. I know, and I do now. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness. But every time, like, uh, like I like I dump a girl because she's like a pain in the ass. I'll be like, shit. Now who am I gonna have sex with? Guys, we got a lot of comp to get through. <laughs> Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Yeah, we do. So uh, the guy returns back to town and he wants to win his his lady back. But then this other dude that the lady saw after him. Uh, comes to his house and uh, proceeds to try and beat the shit out of him. Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah. he's a beta bitch and he can't. Yeah, it yeah. <laughs> it but he kind of looks out. like uh, Robert Redford. Yeah, yeah, he does. Well, he, well, I mean, there was only like three faces you could have back then. The worst the thing days. about this dude is like, uh, he's like, I know she loves you more than me, but I don't care. Like, dude, you're weak. Yeah, 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 yeah. He leaves. He leaves. I like how we just said, oh, uh, the quality of men has definitely gone down. And then no, we're like, look at this dick. Yeah, it's, I think maybe, it's, maybe it's always been this way. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, so then uh, we see the guy. He's kind of walking through the park. And he and he stumbles upon another woman that he dated who looks like, uh, what's her name? Uh, from uh, uh, Crusher? Dr. Crusher? Yeah, Crusher? I was just about yeah, to say. I, was, I even thought to myself, there's no way James means Dr. Beverly know, Crusher. Dr. Beverly Crusher, yeah. Blazing Bev, as we call her on the internet. <laughs> Oh man, I she, fuck, this. she fucked a ghost. <laughs> what? Yes, there's an episode of Star Trek: Next Generation where she fucks a ghost. Does she know he's a ghost? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> and then he ghosted her. Yeah, Mike, you need to watch this on Twitch. Right. All right. All right. I'll stream the fucking Blaze and Bev fucks a ghost episode. <laughs> so Blaze, Blaze and Bev wants this dude back. Uh, but he, uh, he gets a kiss off her and then decides he doesn't want her after all. Oh, you know what? I'll show you how, I'll tell you how men were better back then. Even though mm -hmm. there was always one weaker man willing to put up with being second best, he was willing to fight, which no one is willing to do anymore. Yeah. He did step up. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted to talk it through otherwise nowadays. When I was a young yeah. man, that was the first thing we did was yeah. fight it out. Yep. And now As no opposed one... to asking the woman who she liked best. I mean, on any situation. Stay out of the shay. Any 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 situation would let would lead to just let's just fight it out as men. Which, yeah, in history well, that's, that's usually you, worked. You dudes have bloodlust. Yeah, but now no yeah. one does that anymore. I've talked mad shit to people and they do not fucking stand up to me. And I well, hate there's that. nothing to win. There's nothing to fucking win from pride. getting this fight. Have pride. your pride. Pride. Pride's gonna buy me dinner. No, it's not. Break Pride's my like nose. Come shit. on. That's all. That's all I want. That's why I'm. That's why I'm talking so much shit. You gotta have an elevated mentality about these things. Fuck that. So anyway, uh, so it turns out that uh, the woman he left, she's sitting out in the park, and she's been ghosting him this whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, so he goes up to uh, try and find out why she won't. Uh, why she won't answer his calls or anything like that. And everyone keeps telling him not to go see her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, this is, you know, they're like, if you anyway. love her, stay away. <laughs> you must go. You have to let her have a space. Uh, so he finds her and she's like, yeah, you know, I didn't want you to, to come find me, but not because I don't love you. And it turns out that the night he left, uh, she got hysterical and I guess got in a car wreck chasing after him. Yeah. And she may never walk again. I think the last night together, he literally broke her back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sent her to the ER, and that's why he had to leave. I gotta Fucked get out of town. Fucked her Bane style. I yeah. gotta fuck. I gotta fucking leave town. I can't be around for this. <laughs> All right. I like how it was but just that's like... why, like, she decided that she could never see him again, I ever. Know, like, because it's shameful. She can't walk. Yeah. Don't go back to her. She's a cripple. Well, and so he he takes her back, and she goes, "Oh, well, I guess this this will probably work for me. I'll probably be able to walk now." 
with the power of love. Hey, he was yeah. just like, wait That's a minute. The power it, of love. He's like, wait a minute. Bieber telling me not to see it because you're in a wheelchair? Why does that matter? She's not even in a wheelchair. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, she her, her, is. Yeah, her, she's not normally. She's sitting on a bench, and she's got, like, an old woman that, like, brings a wheelchair to her. Yeah, a woman who never got her back broken. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I guess that's just how that one ends. Yeah, is that how? Is that what people did back then? To just as soon as someone became like injured in any way, you just abandon them. Yeah, or you put them out of their misery, like a like a dog with a broken leg on the side of the road. Maybe we should do it with depressed people now, because it's not like I they're mean, ever going to recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. There's no. There's no coming back from that. That's no. a permanent. It's permanent affliction. Absolutely. That's the thing about therapy. It's just like we're just going to tell you how to deal with it. <laughs> You're never I mean, going to really feel better. That's, just... I mean, we've given up on a lot of things that way. We're going to teach you how to pretend to be happy. That's kind of how we, we do everything. We've only cured like three things. We've rarely actually ever actually fixed anything in this planet. Yeah, we still, yeah, we still have COVID. Yeah, that's still going on. It's been and going everyone's on Everyone's working on it. Everybody's just got everyone. I think they kind of stopped. I think they kind of stopped working on it. If I'm being honest. They're like, ah, fuck it. Let's go back to fucking giving people uh, LSD. Yeah. That, that seemed to be working out okay for a while at least. Shay, uh, want to cleanse the palate. What's, what's next? What's this story? Yeah, so it's called Only Heartbreak. Our art here is by Arthur Petty. Yeah. Uh, and Roy also nabbed a panel of one of his comics. Not this one, uh, but he was also uh, in inspiration. But mm -hmm. he's best known for creating two different characters. One, Atlas Comics' Jan of the Jungle, which Ooh. looks like a Tarzan ripoff, pretty bad. Absolutely. Meh. And that's the list. Mm -hmm. more importantly... To Darkseid's couch, and to Mike specifically, oh god, Ooh. he co-created a little lady from Quality Comics named Phantom Lady. Oh, oh. my gal, my alter ego. Yeah, your alter mm -hmm. ego here. Yeah, it looks a little Phantom Lady esque. Yep, that's me. All right. I'm very proud to be Phantom Lady. Yeah, very pr I'm very proud of who I am. I'm living my truth. Yep, I got no problem. I look at all the shows I directed. <laughs> you know, look at all the various universes I've created. It's right. true. Uh, so yeah, this is called at, only heartbreak. as a woman, <laughs> a, a proud woman esque person. Uh, this is called only heartbreak, and uh, it's about a couple of spinsters, uh, twenty their, year old spinsters in their in their, in their yeah. early twenties, uh, who are living Which together. I'm fucked then in the height of their beauty. <laughs> they are dealing. So <laughs> like these two spinsters. women are dealing with the fact that this dude, uh, Sandy, uh, one by one, uh, use both of them up and uh, just just cut yeah. them both loose. Right, guys. Am I am I am I done for? Yes. Oh, well, well, we're all it. we're all done for. But I mean, like, am I am I beyond an old spinster maid? Do I James, need to just? James isn't done for. He has money. <laughs> yes. Like you as think... long as is you're if you're a man with money, you're never done for. Like yeah, yeah. maybe when you're dead, can always then you're done love. for. I have money. Maybe you're a woman. Men don't care about that. <laughs> I I disagree. I think not the nowadays, kind of man you're gonna want. It was such a weird thing, and yeah. this is a, it's a hacky bit, but it's kind of a weird thing that there was a time where like you forbade your wife from bringing money into the house. Like right. fucking yeah. why? Because it wasn't the boss until is what fucker? When was it finally to where like a woman didn't need her husband's signature to get a credit card? I think we're still about 15 years away from that. I mean, it depends on where you go in the world. That's still a thing. Oh, God. Our wonderful allies in Saudi Arabia. Ugh. I'm just being problematic. I guess. That's right, you are. Uh, that one's for me. Yeah. yeah that <laughs> uh, that, one, over... that one stays on the board. <laughs> I, think I've gotten, I think I've gotten worse over the years doing this show. I thought we were softening up. I feel like I've softened up a lot. You have. I took Shay with me. We've gotten oh, worse. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, hmm. wow. You've I don't way, know. You've gotten I, way worse, Shay. Yeah, you have. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, you can listen to the first 30 seconds of that Captain N episode a couple weeks ago. Why are you, you really so wanna... hung up on that? Because that was out of nowhere. Why? Wow, what it, happened? Because, oh, the, because you didn't Captain realize it? Captain N word? Yeah, he's Captain N word, clearly. I mean. You didn't realize it. It did. It, and But Mike did. You're yeah, the well, minority well, here. But yeah, but I'm, uh, that's ironic. Yeah, I, well. <laughs> that was, I'm, that got was lot, fucking Got terrible. a lot of privileges coming my way. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to go apply for some bad. grants. Uh, that was some bad wording. Oh, God. Fuck. I'm going to go get a small business loan now. 
That deserves uh, uh, pulling out a hair from around my nipples right there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what? What nope, the fuck? Nope. We, don't, we don't have time to delve into that. <laughs> got to mix a little pain with Because we got to talk about these spinster ladies. So uh, <laughs> I don't really understand what happens here because they're both dealing with the fact that they are or are not still in love with this dude, Sandy. I don't see yeah. what the problem is. They live together. They like each other. They both like this guy. Why don't they just share him? That's what they would it, do now. Because he left both of them at this point. Well, he's stupid. Yeah. Of course, well, they can't can share him, shit. Mike, though, if he's gone. That's maybe all I'm he, saying. He, maybe he just figured he can't afford two chicks because neither of them can work. That's a that's, well, <laughs> if you just let one of them have a job. If they had each a part time job, like down to the grocery store, bagging groceries, right. like they'd bring in enough, they can get another, another story put on that house. Yeah. She doesn't need to be paid minimum wage. Yeah. Yeah, just it was anything. minimum wage back then. The same it like, is now. I, it was probably literally like a buck. <laughs> <laughs> like a buck. Uh, no, I think uh, you know, you know, inflation's a real thing. We're dealing with it. Well, it's um, like uh, the 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 short little brunette. Like she still wants to be with him, but the tall blonde's like, you know what? Let's just fuck these other dudes. Yeah, and they try, and for a minute they're they're having a good time. Yeah, but they're like, but we don't love either of them because Sandy had the biggest dick of all. <laughs> Sandy ruined both of us. Just dug us out completely. That's what he, did. he hollowed out that's that cave. That's what happens. That's right. Uh, so uh, one day Sandy comes back. He just shows up and says, "Hey guys, what's up?" And uh, <laughs> because you guys still have an inside-out asshole, or did you guys get that fixed? <laughs> but he uh, comes guys... back for the blonde one, not the brunette one. And then the he's brunette one, cool. the yeah. brunette one is is still in love with him. I've always been a brunette man myself. Well, he. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't have a preference. I guess I don't either. Whoever is willing to put up with me. Shay, do you have a preference? A blonde or brunette? Or redhead. <laughs> no one no. has that. No one Dude, has there that, are bro. some attractive redheaded women. Not yeah. redheaded men, granted. No, no. It's already weak. No. I have a sunburn. As somebody who has, what, like five different colors of hair. Yeah, no. yeah but that's unnatural. We're talking about, Well, yeah. three of them are unnatural. We're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, these women didn't 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 poison themselves with dyes back Two then. Two of them they are. Were, they were proper ladies. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, he comes back, apologizes to I guess the wrong one, and she tells him, and I can't follow this at all. She says, uh, "You should have come back for Lynn. She thought she hated you, but really she still loved you. While I knew that I still loved you, and I was wrong, and I despise you." Yes. I, have, I can't follow that at all. Oh, no, no. It makes complete sense to me. James, of course. I was like, James, you're you trying to tell me you can't understand a woman? <laughs> all right. I don't, I, that's that's problematic. Don't say that. Yeah. Uh, Is it, I've gotten through several relationships just by, like, letting that go. Just be like, I'm never going to get it. I'm not going to try. Look. Just going to uh, apologize and move on. It's an autism thing. I got to crack that puzzle. I you don't understand anybody. crossword every night. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand what I'm looking at. I don't understand any of these people. I don't understand what they're doing with their stupid faces. Well, do you want an explanation or not? I want a quick, I want the Cliff's Notes ex uh, explanation. What's going on here? Okay. So the brunette was saying, I hate Sandy. The Sandy. blonde was originally <laughs> saying. Easy huh? to do. George, easy, very that, easy uh, to hate him. whatever. Yeah. But the blonde one was like, no, we both are still in love with him and you need to accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then Sandy shows up, right? And the brunette is still saying, no chance, no way, I won't say it, no, no. And then he shows up and she realizes, like, oh shit, I'm totally still in love with him. Okay. But the blonde one, who was in love with him, sees him and realizes after she sees him that she just fucking hates him. Well, the brunette okay. sees the uh, outline from his gray sweatpants and she realizes she still loves him. And the blonde just remembers how tore up her asshole got. And she's like, man, yeah. I'm not putting up with that ever again. <laughs> you guys, you know what I found out yesterday? What's up? Apparently, Huey Lewis has a huge dick. Yeah. Yeah, but Huey Lewis also, uh, he has a degenerative, I think, throat disease. He can barely sing anymore. Does, but that has nothing to do, it. but his dick's still fine, though, right? Yeah, yeah. All of the energy left his throat and went to his dick. His dick you know, can sing now. He maybe that singing. was the, the deal with the genie that he made. Like he had, like he, he, he could have a big dick, but at one point, his, his voice that makes him money will disappear. Man, these Faustian bargains. I know. It's would you give up your Would you give up your voice for a bigger dick? Like this all is the like weirdest a... Little Mermaid ever. <laughs> uh, would I give up my? Well, how much bigger is it going to be? Problematically big? How about it always fits perfectly with every woman you're with? 
Oh wow, and I can like, never speak again. Like, oh, yeah. just like you have like a, a, a Eddie Money voice. Oh uh, well, I don't. I can't imagine I'm going to get any women with that voice. I mean, you just they'll see the there's, outline of your from the swimpants. No, there's, there's a catch twenty two there. Is I'm going to scare them away with my horrible Wolfman Jack voice. Or you just learn sign language. No, all your uh, in your closet will be all gray sweatpants. I don't know, man. Uh, sounds like I just get to be Black Bolt. Yep. Mm. Black yeah. Bolt and Black Bolt fucked his cousin. And That's how much game he had. Yeah, he's a king. He gets away with it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I probably take that bargain. Why not? Who cares? Yeah, take that bargain. Who cares? I'm it's a, not my, happen. I, 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 my everything. Every time I talk, I'm always getting in trouble. Anyway, is that what happened in Aladdin? I didn't watch the whole movie. Yep. Then he asked for no, a bigger. Huey dick. Lewis is not in Aladdin. <laughs> Oh. He'd, he'd be a great genie. R.I.P. Yeah. Robin Williams. He'd be a great yeah, genie. Robin Williams, joke thief. Fuck him. He, you know what? I had a lot of hate for him, and then I heard him on WTF, and uh, he, he made it make sense. Like he talked about how he 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 gives the money back to the people. Like uh, when, I when know, they call I'm him kidding. out and everything. I'm kidding. I, I don't really care about anything. Yeah, no, you don't. You know, it makes it real hard to get things done. It's so funny. James doesn't understand anything, and I don't care about anything. Yeah, it's a, it's a miracle that we're productive at all. <laughs> Like, I don't really know what's... Anyway. And I just sit here. <laughs> yep. Shay's just kind of in the middle of the teeter tower. I just float in the middle. Yeah. Yep. I just float in the middle. Oh, you're, Shay's middle, a but... woman, so she cares and understands everything. Well, that's why she's going to fail in life. I'm the, the fulcrum but in the teeter totter. Yeah, you're, you're, in the, the you're in the middle. You're oh, shit. I made it middle. to the middle. You made it to the yeah, middle. You guys, I made it. Hey, it. back to the middle. Suck it, Mike. You got to do a double duck walk. <laughs> And then we got what? Yeah, no, 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 no. Again, we've got another story to get through. <laughs> oh God! Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, I mean, really, what did you expect? The last time we did a Valentine's Day episode, it was about Hal Jordan fucking a minor. Right. Like not like right. a minor in a mine. But well, she we had the body of a woman, which is the argument every pedo makes. Yeah. Well, but she aged up her brain. So I don't know. <laughs> she's also, really, also, she's really smart argument, for her age. Also, the argument they make. She's really Seinfeld's, intelligent for her age. I think I heard Seinfeld say that in court. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to court for nothing. That guy's worth a billion dollars. That's like my favorite thing. He ain't hauling him in. <laughs> uh, then there's some like uh, love letter, you know. Uh, like Dear Abby bullshit. Yeah, it's it's all, really all, not some of this advice about. is Some of this advice is like, fuck all the boys you know. Like, there's a lot of yeah, like, play like, the field. Yeah, there's a lot of that. I read these actually because I thought field. they'd be horny. Those are pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're like 13 year old girls. They're not. One guy's this. One guy writes to her and says, "I want to make out with my girl in front of her religious parents, but they don't like it." <laughs> yeah, and her advice is, you know what? Maybe your parents would be cool with it. Just do it. Dear Ann Martin, I never thought it would happen to me. Yes. <laughs> Dear Ann Martin, I am pregnant as shit because we don't wear condoms. <laughs> we don't understand how this works because it's the 60s and nobody's teaching sex ed. All right. Dear, uh, dear, dear Ann Margaret, I am, uh, I am just duck walking all over the place here. <laughs> I am dripping like a Christmas goose. Like I got uh, sticky feet. Yeah. <laughs> Can you recommend a, a, a mop solution? <laughs> I can't have guests over. <laughs> uh, then we got one more story. Dear, dear, uh, dear, dear, dear lady who gives advice. Like, we're wearing condoms, but we're still going down at each other. Like, does it even matter? Isn't that weird? It's like, girls are like, we got to wear a condom. Now I want you to stick your face on my pussy. Yeah, nobody wears a dental dam. It's like, why no, are we even wearing happens. the condom now? Like, what's the point? Because we're not worried about ourselves. We're worried about you, you fucker. They're making me go down on them. How also, are they worried about me? A lot of the reason you're wearing the condom is to not get her pregnant. Pregnant. You can pull out. <laughs> that still can get you pregnant, you dumb shit. Nah, I never got nobody I, pregnant. I, I know, I know a lot of pull-out babies. I'm telling you, that is a low right. ratio of success. Do you ever do the thing where, like, you you're wearing a Probably condom, but you, still, but you still yank the condom off? Did you come on her face? <laughs> pull out leads to pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. I leave. <laughs> Felt good <sighs> for me though. That's yeah, that's all you cared about. Uh, we got this one last story uh, called My Love Will Know Me, and that's where the cover of the book is taken from. Shay, do you know anything about this? I do. So cover of the book here and the last comic is uh, done by our old friend, John Ramada. No, no oh. friend of mine. Yeah, no friend of the show. It's the one person who's not a friend of the show. <laughs> 
So, and we have a lot of problematic friends. We've let Chris mm. Pratt on. <laughs> That's right. Um, One time he was in the middle. Anything else, Shay? No. Okay. That was all I really found out about this comic. So this story is about a woman uh, driven insane by a song that only has one lyric. Yep. Uh, it's very bizarre. So she's walking around town and she keeps hearing this song. And the lyric is, my love will know me by our song. And apparently, like Telltale Heart style, uh, she just hears it everywhere. She's right. losing her mind. And uh, she's associating that with the love of a man. And she just needs anybody to fit that. And uh, it doesn't really matter who. I mean, take like a take a basket weaving class or something. There's other kinds of yeah. love. This is before the internet. People just were driven insane by songs, and they just ran around parks. Well, and there was no way to find that song. You didn't have Shazam. You couldn't figure out what that song was. Nope. People you had to were hopefully dumb. Hopefully, find a guy who works at an ice cream shop who could maybe tell you. Yep. Right. I, those ice cream shop guys, man, they weren't getting laid. Yeah. Soda jerks. Yeah. They, well, yeah. They sat around listening to radio all day. I don't know anything. Yeah, with their stupid hats. Yeah. Yep. Yep. F uh, fonts of wisdom, though. Lots of I wonder if the owner of that ice cream shop, like, he like told, like, does he is he making himself wear the hat? <laughs> yes. He's, he just likes the hat. Well, he's got a receding hairline, so. Yeah. Like, uh, he doesn't have to do that. Yeah. He doesn't have to look stupid. Well, it's also a hygiene thing. It's essentially a hair nut. Oh, he's just losing so much hair because back then men did that. Yeah, yeah. You didn't ask about it. You didn't look into it. You just lost your hair. Now you yep. just now everyone sh shaves it in shame. Yeah, shaves it in power. You mean? And then they're like, "I'm gonna grow my beard out and shave my head because that's a good look." See, I've got the beard going, and and then I'm 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 right on that cusp of just shaving the head, but I probably shouldn't do it because then I don't, look like everybody else. Don't do it. That's the don't worst. do I'm it. Yeah, that's probably the not going to do it. Don't just, do it. I have a nice evolved. quaff going. I have a just, nice just, quaff. If you ever start going bald, just it's fine. You're at that age where it's not. It's like you gotta feel bad for the guys in their twenties because those guys, yeah. yeah, shave that shit. But when you're like forty, like fuck it, you look like you're supposed to look. I really hope that the day comes when I just don't care anymore about That's about where I'm at. appearance, and I'm not there. I'm not there. Just always have abs. Yeah. You well, can get I mean, away with a lot as long as you're in shape. Right, but you're that's gonna get harder and harder as the years go on. That's what drugs are for. Yeah, that's that is what drugs are for. That's right. Get yeah, on so that you wanna look like Joe Rogan? Yeah, trim bologna sandwiches. Yeah. I wanna look like a yeah, like a like a nutsack that's been twisted too many times. Yeah, that's what I wanna look like. <laughs> We're so hard on Joe Rogan. I don't even know anything about him. Fuck it. You know, he he looks like a pimple that's about to explode on someone's back. Like he's 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 the reddest, roundest thing I've ever seen. That's what we're all gonna look like when we get older. We're gonna shrink. But he's not not not, not me though. I'm gonna be on human growth hormone. I'm gonna be taller. He looks like he's slowly turning into like a like a human bowling ball. It's getting really weird how comp hyper compressed he's becoming. Yeah, I'm sure he gets laid. By the way, uh, uh, I want. Oh, mention I'm sure that. he does. I want to mention that Neil Young, uh, he's off Spotify because uh, he said it was either him or Joe Rogan. And so, you know, the Spotify removed Neil Young. And uh, I made the same ultimatum to Spotify on our behalf. So as soon as they're done deliberating over it, I'm sure Spotify is going to get back to us. Let us know what their decision is about it. It's going to be us or Joe Rogan. I didn't agree to that. I don't care enough. No, but it's going to one or the other. I'm sure they're I'm sure they're going to get back. And, did, uh, did, right Neil Young, did Neil Young seriously do that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, oh, did he not think that was going to backfire? Well, it didn't backfire. He doesn't need it. And and actually, you know what I saw today is now Apple Music has like a, a banner or whatever that said that proudly proclaims we're the home of Neil Young. <laughs> just, <laughs> is, just Joe, to, is Joe Rogan on an Apple? I don't know. Probably. I would, no, Joe well, Rogan no, is the Spotify, Spotify exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Neil Young doesn't have the cultural pull of Joe Rogan at the moment, but still symbolically. Wait, why? Okay, so why did Neil Young want to... I don't know anything about because anything of the, Because of the misinformation that Joe Rogan is putting out there. And Neil Young is a very hardcore liberal. What did you... Oh, okay. And he's, he's yeah. he just doesn't like that Joe Rogan has all the, the vaccine misinformation out the there. The stuff so he... we just talked about Yeah, the earlier. stuff we talk about every week. But that we also talked about the beginning of this episode. Yeah. Is Joe anyway. Rogan have that much influence on shit? Like, man, yes. I really I don't think missed out. Yes. I don't think so. I think That's this was the a... fucked up thing. Do people I just think... imagine he does? I think this was a 30-second conversation at Spotify. We're like, yeah, clearly we're, we're on, on Team Rogan here. On this They're one. like, who's yeah. making us money? Yeah, no, yeah. seriously. That's what they came down to. But yeah, yes, it, it, it is up. unfortunate that he does seem to have this much sway. Well, a yeah. red-pilled man don't need him around anyhow. He's got a red-pilled head. 
Uh, he is, yeah, he turned into he's a red a, pill. He's, he's, he's <laughs> trans, that's what he's turning into. He's turning into a human red pill. Uh, there you um, go. So anyway, so that's anyway. what happens. He's just popping red pills all day long, and he's turning into a little. <laughs> Eventually, fucking steam's gonna come out of his ears, and he's gonna piss tea. Well, like... Joe Rogan should know that you are what you eat. He's a he's what? a health guy. He has like a Jordan Peterson Pez dispenser, and it's just full of red pills. <laughs> 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 just popping them. That's a fucking genius. That's good. I want to make, I wanna make that joke. so bad. Because no, it's like, I don't gotta... even know what the fuck Jordan Peterson's about. No, like, I don't know. You... Is he red pilled? I don't know. You gotta sell I forget that which one's the... which. You sell that along with some liberal tears in a bottle, they'll eat that up. <laughs> fucking man. That's what you wash it down with. Yeah, they That's love weird, that. But... It's weird because for me, like, I consider like like liberals to be like just like re diet Republicans. So, yeah, so like, yeah. I don't sympathize with them at all. I think like you're literally the only one far left enough for you. Like you're the only one yeah. on the planet that uh, that that actually uh, agrees with your ideals. About yeah, anyone how far who left doesn't. Yeah, be. yeah, anyone who doesn't agree with me about stuff, I think are bootlickers. Yeah, way too far to the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're all Bernie's, a bunch of yeah. you're a bunch of right wing Bernie Sanders supporters. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> Bernie Sanders, Ronald Reagan, same fucking thing. Yeah, same thing. Supporting the system. No system. I'm no system. <laughs> the only way forward is no system whatsoever. Mike voted for a fucking cat. Wait, isn't isn't no system libertarianism? That's that's right. I'm I'm left of that. I think I think libertarianism is just an extremely complicated system of microsystems. I think it's just like selfishness, but given a different name. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's finish the story. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so this uh, lady she finds this dude, and uh, he's also into the song, and so they start dancing, and that's how you fell in love back in those days. Right. Yep. Was, except yeah. this dude was a hound dog. Yeah. So Wait, was he? <laughs> Yeah, well, so they, they fall in love, and they're doing a bunch of bullshit. They're on boats and things like that. He's taking her on, like, dates. That's not a hound dog move. Well, and not then yet. He, yeah. Then he, turn, he turns into the meme where uh, the woman walks by, and he yeah, looks at her ass. Does. Yeah, he does. He's 100%. <laughs> oh, Put my God. Put that up on Twitter. He turns uh, into a living meme. Put that up meme. on Twitter, please. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> so he starts looking at women's asses as they walk by, and then she basically apologizes to him. As she should. Yeah, and then it. yes, so she apologizes to him, and then he ghosts her. Yes, so he just disappears on her, and yeah. uh, she's still hearing the song uh, because she's insane at this point. No, because he's playing it with everybody. That's mm -hmm. the thing is that he's fucking just well, he's fucking everybody, and that's how he's doing it. Maybe all the women were driven insane by this song. Maybe this song activates their ovaries. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. She's just walking to the bathroom and the eggs are just spilling down her pant leg. If this if this took place in Maine, it'd be a Stephen King story. Yes. Uh, okay. And so uh, she eventually sees that, yeah, her boyfriend is just uh, dancing with other ladies, having a great time, listening to that same song. And uh, she starts crying. And so another dude who works at, I guess, another ice cream shop, uh, he takes pity on her, which also seems like the seeds of a very poor relationship. Boy, she and, doesn't uh, go with him because he's a fucking hat wearing douchebag. He, she absolutely does. At the end of the, at the end of the story, she does. She does. She goes with the ice cream guy. Yeah, because no, he's not doesn't. wearing his hat. He doesn't wear his hat off duty. Well, she doesn't notice him until he gets that fucking that hat off. That yeah, you take that fucking hat off, and we can talk. Yeah, no like hat. earlier, he's being portrayed as like the ugly duckling by having the hat on. Yeah, She's like, you, she goes, but you are working towards a better career, right? <laughs> so, because uh, as Shay told us earlier, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, that that really, I mean, God bless you women for for putting up with this bullshit. Because uh, we're not bringing much to the table anymore. Dude, I've dated some girls way out of my league when I had nothing going mm -hmm. on. I got <laughs> I don't know, man, I'm, I'm playing some, some playing some PlayStation on Twitch later if you want to come watch that. <laughs> yeah, just put watch something me play in my, a game. Put something in my tip jar. I've never done that. I know some guys do that. They have their girlfriends watch them play a game. I've never Fuck fucking up. done that. Well, Shay actually is okay with that under certain circumstances. Like, she actually likes watching people play video games. Uh, at least that's what she's told me in the past. Yeah, that's what she tells her boyfriends. That's not yeah. true. No, I, uh, yeah. It's, no, it's I do. Well, yeah, I don't really enjoy playing them. But, uh, like, if somebody's playing Arkham or something like that, I will I will watch them play the game because I'm interested in the story. You, you would have been eaten alive in 1962. Yeah. I'm the asshole that reads Playboy for the articles. Oh, the good articles. There was a time, there was a couple of years there where Playboy recently did not have nudity. 
And then they, they, they brought it right back. And they did try to lean on like people like the articles enough that we don't need nudity. And it turned out that was not true. Oh, they tried to green Eminem their shit. Yeah, they tried to take those fuck boots off. Well, now they're trying to super distance themselves from Hefner. Yeah, because he was a rapist, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, he also he also gave a platform to a bunch of black entertainers at a time where that would get you you get you killed. He also yep. lived in he also lived in dog shit. Could it be possible yep. that that people are complicated? They are. I know I am. Oh, oh I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I want things all, to be as I'm, black I'm and white as this comic book. I'm eating all the pills. Yeah. So anyway, I meant morally black and white. There's vibrant colors in this comic book. I mean, um, literally pills. <laughs> so, so then the woman, uh, she's sitting at the park, and then she sees the uh, soda jerk come by, and he's not wearing his hat. He scraped his yeah. money together, got a got a suit, yeah, and uh, so now suit. she's 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 like, oh, thank God, and uh, like, they fall in love. He goes, I'm also a law student. She goes, oh, thank God, oh, fucking <laughs> Christ. I mean, my dad, my dad owns the soda shop. So yeah, that's the end of it. And the, the general, I guess, idea is that you know. You need to have a you need to have a relationship to be happy. Let's see what somebody has to say about that. Why aren't we allowed to remain single and not have children? Oh, Jesse Ventura's oh, back and he's spitting. Yeah, yeah he's mm-hmm. spitting. There's a guy mm-hmm. I liked. There you go. He was on Team Mike in terms of left of left of left of isness and and lying about his uh, military credentials. Yeah, oh, I lie about mine too. Yeah, look at this. There's an ad for, for ad for Bitcoin back when it was only nine thousand dollars. <laughs> no. It's nice to know that even in the girl comics, there's the same ads. Can you believe that? Like, because nowadays, like, Bitcoin's like, what, like 60 grand? Back in the 1960s, no. Bitcoin was only $10,000. Well, by the time this episode drops, it might be back down to $9,000. It's been it's been dropping bad this month. Really? What happened? Did they go on Joe Rogan and say the some idea, shit? <laughs> the idea with Bitcoin was that it was supposed to, or, or cryptocurrencies, that they were supposed to be able to uh, operate independently of the market. But then we saw when COVID hit that, oh, no, they still are more or less tied to the market. And so they go up and down when the market goes up and down and the market's been down this month. So, oh, so, I, should, so I should buy Bitcoin now. now would be if a good you time think to buy. Here's, here's the hot, here's James's hot, hot tip, hot, invest, hot investment tip right now. Uh, if Day. you, if you think, if you think that uh Bitcoin's going to be around in 10 years, yeah, now is the time to buy it. Oh, I don't. Well then don't buy but it. But I was wrong about Bitcoin 10 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> like I'm not necessarily, I'm not like a, well, I'm not like crypto bro or anything like that. I've got some, but it's like, I realize it could go away, but it's like everybody's so resistant to new technology. Do you not? Re- We're young enough to remember before the internet when everyone was saying that won't catch on. All right. My dad still says that. He still says it. Yeah, like, he doesn't even know what a website looks like, <laughs> which is why I'm always gaslighting him now. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, that's it. That's it. For, yeah, for that's this it. Book. That's the comic. What do we think of this? Uh, I'm going to give this uh, zero Bitcoins. Okay. <laughs> which is... Uh, worth fifty thousand dollars. But I will give it three red pills. <laughs> Shay, what'd you think of this? I'm gonna give it three tears on my pillow. Aww. Yeah. Wow, you guys were generous with this. I mean, it's bad. I don't know. Maybe I don't value red pills. Yeah. I definitely don't value crypto. Um, I don't want to bag on something just you know just because it's dumb, but like this is there's not much good to say about this book. The writings, it's well, this book is pretty based. Like, there's a lot it, of oh t- yeah, no, the writing's shit. terrible. This there's book's not great. There's a ton of shit in here that's right. But I the don't art is fun. It. I the want art- to reward. I I want to re- like. I enjoyed the art. The three. I mean, the art is perfunctory. The three tiers are for the art. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, now I got that that made up song stuck in my head. So um, I didn't like it. One out of five attempts to eat those candy Valentine heart things. Oh yeah. I can't. So those chalky. chalky bitches. Yeah, yeah, you can't get through that. Fuck yeah. that. Um. Oh man, that's it. Yep, that's it. Happy yeah, Valentine's it. Day. Yeah, yeah. We gotta uh, pick a book or what? No, no. We know what we're doing next week. Oh, oh we boy. Do. Yeah, it's it's not a wheel week. Um, well, it's a wheel week, but it's not a spin. Kind the of. Wheel yeah. Week. Oh yeah. I got I got I got two words for you guys about next week. Oh we're going, yeah. We're going trucking. We're going yeah. trucking. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, next week is my birthday. It lands Happy on birthday. my birthday. It lands on my birthday. Not yet. Um, and it's also episode 199. Jesus Christ. Right. And we want to get one last stupid episode in before the 200th episode celebration. We couldn't uh, we su- 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 suspect that 200 might actually be good. So we need to get one more piece of horse crap in. Couldn't trust the wheel to do it. Um, so I actually found this comic book. I stumbled on this. It was a comic book that actually debuted the month I was born. 
in 19 <clears throat> you like when people do that they obscure their age or they cough no yeah, 19 that feels like when someone says they were born in 18 yeah really at this point like if you say you're born in the 1900s you're you're, yeah, just you're an ancient. old person yeah you're an old person no matter what uh but yeah this is a book uh published by marvel in 1983 uh, called US-1, and from my understanding, it's about a trucker with mental CB powers. There's also a guy with a super red, super huge red cape, and yeah. like, where the, the Spider-Man, or like, the, the, we talked about this last from week. the corner box, yeah. the corner. There's a guy, he's like, thumbs up. That's him. That's US-1. Well, Give I think that's link. Thumbin, like, I think he's, like, you know, hitchhike Thumbin. He's a trucker. He's a trucker. I've actually, I actually went ahead and read the book. I was so excited. Um, uh, I was excited when you told me about it. That's for sure. Yeah, I, that, I did not have any strong feelings. Well, you're not a boy. You had your yeah. book. Yeah. yeah. We, you know what? And we, I realized as I was thinking about this episode that's coming up is like we we already did a trucking Marvel book and like all the trucking jokes were taken. I don't know, we'll do more. Yeah, we'll do just, more. You know, this book is going to be less base and red pill than the Valentine's Day book we just yeah. did. Also, well, Marvel. Mike and I have ship memories, so we'll probably make the same jokes again. I yeah, know I've yep, been making yep. the same joke every week for the last uh, 198 episodes. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you're going to turn over a new leaf at episode 200. You got to get those last those last jokes in one more time. Yep. There's a last opportunity to make those shitty jokes, and then we're going to get serious about this. Maybe think, hopefully Joe Rogan does something else. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're doing for my birthday. Um, a lot of episodes about me, relevant to me lately, and more coming. Yep. We'll tease about that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. Shay, do you have any uh, plugs for this? Yeah, but oh, cool. I uh, didn't come up with any fun jokes because I used up all my material oh. during the show. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, okay. If this? you'd like to this? do, uh, how about uh, how about you uh, give your heart to Dark Side's Couch and don't make it a secret at DarkSidesCouch.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah, that was good. No, that's yeah. stupid. Oh, fuck. That was so harsh. Happy Valentine's to me, right? See, look at happy that. Can't make, a can't make a woman happy. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I don't know what you want. I don't want to know what you want, Shay. Just tell me what you want. They don't want that. They want you to guess. Do you I don't know. <laughs> wherever you want to go have dinner. <laughs> you ever done that? Is that something you do? Oh, that's awful. That's Get an awful thing to do. Get the fuck that bullshit. No, it's more about the TV shows. It's more about, like, put on whatever you want, and then it's, uh, uh not this. I'm going to go in the other room. Find 12 hours of Fraggle Rock. Okay, yeah. I don't do that that fucking often. <laughs> ah, there uh, we go. There's the button. You oh, found my God. It. We all love each other so much. Can't find we the clip, it. but you found the button. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now I'm putting a button on this episode. That's enough of this. Uh, were there any plugs I missed on that? Yeah. yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. Subscribe and uh, rate us on Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, yeah, all of that it's kind fine. of stuff. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, yeah we might Spotify. not be on Spotify anymore. Yeah, for the for the liberals canceled with those MMs. Yeah, follow us yeah. for now. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, anybody got any last thoughts before we get out of here? Uh, every uh, every time I dated someone who was like a liberal hyper feminist, those were the relationships that were the most toxic gender rolled. Shay, you guys are doing a romance comic next. Sounds out for now, Cushion Crusaders. We'll talk to you next time on the couch. What's wrong, Ty? They're playing our song. The one that Alan and I danced to. Rolling with Toby. Oh, hi. Oh, don't cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh.